What's up guys, here with another FortiGate tutorial. This time we're going to go over how to create an SSH key pair so that you can easily access the administrative interface on your FortiGate device, whether it be with a password or no password, just as an SSH key. I'm going to just kind of go over how I did it and yeah, hopefully it'll help you guys um, if this is something that you want to set up on your device. So. To start things off, you're not going to configure anything on the FortiGate itself. You're just going to create the SSH key pair from the device that you'll be accessing the FortiGate from. So this is my computer at home. So we have to create the SSH key pair, the public and private for my device on my device. So we're going to do to create that. And I am on a, a MacBook. We're going to do SSH keygen minus T RSA because we want it to be, I believe the FortiGate is very compatible with the RSA keys. Um, so we're going to do that. Enter file and wish to save the key. I'm just going to leave this as a default. I had already done this uh, previously for another FortiGate device, but I'm going to just go ahead for the sake of this tutorial and go ahead and override it. Here you can enter a passphrase. I would suggest adding another layer of security to your SSH key pair if you're going to use this method and just add a passphrase to it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. However, if you don't want to, you don't have to, you would just hit enter here. All right, so my passphrase matched. My public and private key has been created and it tells me the location and where I can find those keys. Now the .ssh directory is a hidden directory on Mac, um, but if we go there, if we navigate to that folder, we can see that the id underscore rsa dot pub is there. Um, so we can actually take a look at that file if we want in a text editor. Uh, my, you know, a lot of people use v. I use uh, sudo nano. typed in the wrong file. My mistake. So here we can actually see the key that was created. Now you can, uh, you can copy this in here. However, I would recommend that there's a special command that you can use to copy this directly to your clipboard. And what that command is PB copy. So once you have this command entered in, you're going to hit enter. And what that does is that automatically copies the contents of that public key file directly to your clipboard. So now we're going to go ahead and go over to the FortiGate. Once we're in here, you want to configure the administrative user. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to configure it under the administrative user. That's the user that I'm configuring this on for the sake of the tutorial. However, whatever, account that you're using to access the 48, the one that you want to use SSH keys with, that's the account that you would configure. You would make this configuration change on. So for mine, I'm doing config system admin. And here we go. We have some admin users here. So I'm just going to make configuration changes on the admin. And if we look at all of the settings, the one that we're going to make a change to is this public key, SSH public key. What we're going to do here is we're going to set SSH public key one. Now this has to be, in my experience, it works best with uh, parentheses. So I'm just going to start. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up a notepad document because of the PB copy. What I like to do is I like to post the contents into a notepad file. I'll add quotations and then I'll recopy it to my clipboard. Once that's done, you make sure you have SSH public key one, you want to put a space and you want to copy that in there and hit enter. So once that's been copied, I'm going to hit in to save it. 
we're going to try and access our FortiGate device with the SSH key. So in terminal, we're going to do SSH admin at the local address of my FortiGate device. And, you know, because I'm using a different port, I just have to put the port number here. So as you can see here, it's asking me for a passphrase for the key. If you did not put a passphrase, it would just let you write in. I'm gonna go ahead and put my password and boom, I'm in. So um, I would always kind of recommend putting a passphrase, just like, like I said, again, for another layer of security, but it's really up to you at the end of the day if you wanna put a password on it or not. Um, I find putting a password works for me and it's just, it's another layer of security. Um, Thumbs up if you guys like the tutorial. If you want to see more tutorials like this, please uh, leave a comment and subscribe. I'm always looking for ideas on things that you guys are looking for uh, video-wise, tutorial-wise. If there's any configurations or anything you want to see set up on a FortiGate device, please let me know. Uh, I'm also new to the FortiGate devices, so I'm always constantly learning and um, experimenting with different techniques and trying to get them to work with different um, open source software and devices. Um, so again, guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.